Uh, we're into LNG, particularly relatively small size carriers that go to the shallow harbors in the emerging markets. And we're also into petroleum products and into crude. The petroleum products and the LNG are obviously driven in some measure by the shale gas and tight oil being found in such abundance in the U.S. Any particular names that you could give me? Well, I don't want to talk about public stocks. The two companies we're involved in are, are basically private companies. When do you see the Fed winding down its bond buying program? Well, I think the sooner they start moderating it, the better, because the more they build up this huge inventory, the more severe the shock will be uh, as they begin to reverse it. Also, since they've been buying long-term debt, this time the Fed itself is exposed to the prospect of huge losses as interest rates go up. Historically, they used to buy short-term debt. Well, you don't lose much on short-term debt and you can just let it roll off. But 20-year bonds are something quite different. So when do investors jump back in? Into bonds or into equities? Into bonds. Well, I think you need to wait for at least a 100, 200 basis point move in the 10-year treasury from where it is now before they become attractive.